welcome back to Prison Architect, everybody. Welcome back to Pog Slammer. We're back. We're back in the prison. And uh, fuck me, is this place ever, ever shaping up? I mean, after we built that, that new cell block, it's looking really nice, isn't it? You know, we just need to get this new nursery down here. Like I said, we're going to mirror it. So they, uh, the, uh, the, the, these cells will be down here. I'm not 100% sure if we need to make any, any high security cells. We do have two prisoners that are unable to be assigned. Who are they? I guess, oh, for God's sake. We, we've only just started. Why is there a fight already? Where, where's this fight? Anyone? Oh, God. It's over here. Who's this? Jamie uh, Unicorn Garen, of course. Roses are red, violets are blue. Jamie seems sweet until she cuts you. I remember this. I, uh, I'm fairly sure we've, we've seen her before. Possibly at some point. I mean, she, she's pretty new, so maybe we just had a similar description. But um, she's in here for 58 years, which is... I mean, that's pretty severe, right? She uh, she, she murdered, and uh, she caused some grievous bodily harm. I mean, it looks like she's been trying to cause some grievous bodily harm in here. She's attacking staff, apparently. Right next to a guard with a dog. Stupidest thing I've ever seen. Oh, Michaela Howell. Hello, hello, hello. What are you doing? What, what is it you've been up to? So she's currently suppressed. I'm guessing she's just come out of solitary. Um, she's she's pretty desperate for everything, apparently. Do we know anything about her? Here we go, look. She's on a pharma, pharma, <laughs> pharmacological treatment of drug addictions. Uh, she's bad. She's bad to the bone. And uh, yeah, a little bit suppressed at the moment. No, no success chance. She, uh, she did do kitchen safety and hygiene, which is nice. But today, today we're going to do some, um, what, what do you call it? We're going to do some, some office work, I think. That's probably the best way of putting it. Because uh, we need, I think we need to possibly deploy a few more guards around. Uh, yep, so we've got a new route we need to set up in here. And uh, I think, given the number of spare guards we've got, we could probably, uh, probably shove some new ones down onto some of these routes, actually. Just to see what, uh, what happens. Because, of course, these, these girls, they like shanking each other, you know? And having the guards deployed nearby, that, that, that tends to prevent that from happening. So um, maybe we could put... Let's have a look. We've got, we got about ten spare guards at the moment. Um, maybe we could add a guard to each of these canteen routes. That's probably a good idea, right? So we've got, we got a little bit of backup for the armed guard as well. Uh, somebody to put them in cuffs, you know, not and, and maybe tase them, because all the guards are trained in tasers, of course. Um, that that leaves us with seven. I think that's fine because we do need guards to kind of cart them around places. If if we don't do that, they end up stuck in, in sing, you know, just like in silly places for a long time. But I I think it's time we get rid of these walls as well, these these gates, because they're just causing a problem. We don't need them, you know. Let's get rid of them. Uh, we're we're going to put some more lights down as well. We're going to scatter those about the place so that we can we can see what the hell we're doing. Uh, and we're going to get rid of these ones. We're going to get rid of these doors as well. Because, um, you know, we, we we put these in back when we, you know, the, the, the prison was quite basic. We didn't have all the cells, and, and we, we needed to stop them from kind of escaping. Now, we, we're going to, we're actually going to move this fence as well. But before we, before we demolish the old one, we're going to install one new fence here, and we're going to put a fence here, okay? Just like that. And I mean that's that's not a huge amount of money, especially given the fact that it looks like we've had some had some prisoners released early. Because um, yeah, I mean Jesus Christ, we, we're on twelve k. If we keep doing this, this will be this is a money maker, isn't it? We're just not spending very much. We're just kind of putting down decorations, tearing down uh, tearing down walls and doors and stuff. Hopefully not the floor, probably the floor as well. But uh, that's fine, you know. We'll just put the floor back in. Uh, I think there's some tiles of floor. Look, there's one. There's some tiles of floor missing here and there. Anyway, I, I don't know how they managed it, but they definitely. Uh, it looks like they did half a job in some places. You know, I, I guess that's just the quality of workers we're hiring. Who knows where we're getting them from? But we're obviously not not doing their finest work here, which is a little bit of a shame. You know, hopefully they won't form a union because they'll then, then we'll just end up with them striking, and uh, you know we we don't want that honestly. Because <laughs> if they start striking, you know, then then we're going to have problems. I mean, there there has been an update recently as well, which does add like security staff needs or something. Um, we, we're going to have to look into it. I mean, our our staff room is pretty pretty fucking awesome, right? So maybe we don't need to worry about it. But certainly, it it 
it, it is something we're going to have to look into, just to make sure, you know? We don't want them, uh, we don't want them revolting, because they're, they're pissed off that we, I don't know, don't, don't have ten prayer mats in the staff room instead of five, or something. Or, or maybe we, maybe we haven't updated the arcade machine in a while. Maybe they're fed up of playing Metal Slug 1, and, uh, they, they want to play Metal Slug 2 now, you know? They, they, they've completed it a few times, and, uh, it's, it's not... I, I mean, I can get that, right? Games do get a little bit tiresome after a while. If, if you play them too much, or, uh, you know, if, if nothing new happens. It, it's just it's just how it goes. Some games, they're, they're not not the best. Like, you know, they're, they're, they don't have a huge amount of replayability, and, and I, I don't know. You, I, I'm sure you guys understand what I mean, right? It's, it's certain games keep you hooked for, for months, like years even, I mean, there there are there are games out there which people are way too addicted to, you know, and and I I just think maybe, just maybe, our staff, you know, the 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 game they've got in their arcade machine, it it, it isn't one of those games, you know. I I think maybe it's only rated like a six out of ten, and and that's that's not going to be that's not going to keep them entertained. Um, looks like we haven't got any construction workers stuck on the other side of this fence, which is quite nice. But now we can we can tear down this wall. Uh, construction workers, I want you to tear down this wall. Okay, I know you, I know you put it up. I know it was hard work, but uh, we're we're done with it. It's 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 served its purpose, and now we we want to we want to finish decorating the prison. We want to tidy some shit up, you know. Um, we we've, we've got a new wall going down here, which is going to help prevent any kind of items being thrown into the prison because that shit does happen all the fucking time as well. We look in our intelligence and stuff. Sometimes we can see. Uh, doesn't look like we can at the moment. Let's let's just check this as well because we we might have some some new prisoners who are look, we've got a CI. That's Holly Holly the Fox Brown, I believe. Um, we might have some new prisoners who are guard ex guards or, or snitches. You know, I mean, shout at me if if you see one that I completely miss because uh, oh yeah, look, she's she's I'm, I'm keeping my eye on you, Lily, honestly. I, I, she worries me with all those those skills. If she decides to start some kind of gang warfare, we're in trouble. Basically, like we're we're in big trouble. But uh, hopefully, we can keep her subdued, subdued, you know. And uh, she 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 won't start any gangs because that would be that would be for her best interest, you know. Like if she goes starting gangs, then she she's probably going to have her food, you know, reduced. I expect we'll we'll. I mean, she's already supermax. So when when we come to build her a cell, it's it's we're gonna remember everything that she's done, you know. So it's, it is in in her best interest, uh, just just to just to play it cool. All right. I, I don't know if she can still hear me. You know, she's probably not listening anyway. But uh, if she is, Lily, you you know what I'm saying now. You've got to play it cool. Okay, Lily, play it cool. Where where is she? Let's go and find her. Uh, we, we, we can't sit. There she is. Lily? Lily? I want you to listen to me. Okay, Lily? Play it cool. Alright. 118 years. Fuck me. Right. Oh, look at that guy. So, it's a tax, tax father. I don't know who Tack is. I'm sure Tack's in here somewhere. Is she uh, still in the visitation room? Doesn't look like it. We've got we, of course. Joanna, you, you, you know we, we. Um, uh, yeah, she, oh, of course, yes. She was the one whose one note caused her to kill a man by dropping her mobile. I mean, like I said at the time, we, we've all been there, right? I mean, we... What the fuck is going on over here? Who... What? Who, who did this? Nora? Was it you? Nora? Uh, Avery? <gasps> we've got a snitch. Okay, we've got a snitch. Let's see, so we need, we need Nora... Right, I don't know if she's a new prisoner or if we've just found that out. But we need her to be in uh, protective custody at the moment. Which means we're, we're probably going to have to uh, solitary her for at least 24 hours while we think about what to do. Shit. I really wasn't... Oh, no. Who's died? Who died? Who, who's this? Nicole... Nicole Lil Julia shot her boyfriend in the back for cheating on him. Huh? She... What? She, she shot her boyfriend in the back... For cheat, so she cheated on him, and then shot her boyfriend in the back. Well, you know what, Nicole, you 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 literally just come into our prison. But I I'll be honest, I don't really care that you're dead. 
you sound like a horrible, horrible person, you know? She, she's probably the kind of girl who would, like, go to work and, like, suck 32 men's dicks, you know, at the same time. And then uh, go home and, and just pretend that she's been, like, at the office, you know? Tell, tell her boyfriend that she got some kind of bonus and then produce her, her dick-sucking money and just be like, yeah, look, this is, this is my bonus. Um, and yeah, I, I, you know what? Good riddance. I'm glad you're gone. I'm glad we don't have to look after you, you know? You, you dirt bag. But who, who have we got here anyway? This was Avery. Avery Chisholm? Chisholm? Chis, Chislome? Chislome. Okay. Uh, 15 years from multiple crimes, including forgery, forgery, and fraud. What have you been forgerizing? I mean, like, maybe she's been... Oh, she's ex-law enforcement as well. So maybe she was, like, forging... Okay, so so maybe while she was pulling over... I'm, I'm just going to zoom out because that door is really loud. Maybe while she was uh, working as a cop, you know, she was pulling over kids in their cars and, uh, you know, finding the ones who were smoking weed and, and just being like, guys, I know you've been smoking weed, okay? Look, if you hand it over... I'll let you go, and uh, we won't write up a ticket for this. And of course, like, the kids, they'd, they'd, they'd be really scared, and of course really grateful that this police officer had been so so graciously kind to them, to, to let them, you know, just leave after smoking smoking the Mary Jane, that they give them, give Avery, give, give old Avery the weed, uh, speed away as quickly as they could without breaking the law, of course, because that would be silly in front of a police officer. And then, uh... Old Avery, she she just sneak off, like have a little doobie in her in her squad car somewhere, and then uh, you know just just chill out for the rest of her shift. Perhaps ignore her radio, maybe uh, pop down to to Burger King, get a couple of uh, chicken royales and a milkshake. But uh, yeah, and then like maybe she was forging the papers, so so she'd just be like, oh yeah, I I pulled over some kids. Um, and like uh, they they told me about like a big big drug deal going down at Burger King, but uh, I I got there and there was nothing going on, you know. And uh, she she she'd forge some papers like that, pretend that she'd like pulled over more people than she actually did. When when in reality she was like, you know, she she put like oh, Officer Four Twenty pulling over uh, Mary Jane and uh, her red 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 headed stepchild, uh, in in the Kush wagon perhaps. And like somebody in the office just, they, they noticed when these things were getting ridiculous, you know. Wow, look at that. We just dumped her body on the ground. I mean, I, I, know, I know I said I'm good riddance, but you could, you could give her a little respect, guys. She is dead now, all right? It's not, you've you got to pay some respects, okay? Treat her the way you wish you, you'd be treated after you're gone. Because I, I swear, guys, one day you're, you're all going to be gone too. So, you know, don't take that for granted. But uh, let's, let's, get some grass down here and then uh, I think I think it'll be about time to finish up to be fair like we've done a, a good bit of administration you know we've got some some shit down I'm gonna put some lights down here as well um, we got some shit done and I, we still need to do things like deal with the heating and uh, I, I did realize we need to put some metal detectors down at some point but that's that's for next time you know so thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you're still enjoying this. You know, we didn't really do a, a huge amount. I know, we, did, we just put some materials down, sorted out some fences and stuff, and uh, met a new prisoner. But it's, it's all progress at the end of the day. Eventually, this prison is going to be perfect. And right now, I think it's shaping up really nicely. We've got the lights on the go as well, which is excellent. So, uh, yeah, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment. Join us in the Discord for some gaming chat, and I will see you in the next video.